Have you ever paused to ponder why things unfold the way they do in your life? Do you think it's all just random, or could there be a deeper purpose behind it all? What if delving into these questions could transform the way you perceive the world around you? Today we embark on a journey into a realm where every event, every moment, carries its own unique significance. In this series, we dive into the wisdom of Buddhism, an ancient yet enduring approach to understanding life. Imagine life as a magnificent tapestry, with each thread representing a part of our story. Picture it as a puzzle where every piece is essential. We'll explore significant concepts like karma, which acts like an invisible force linking our actions to their consequences and the profound connections we share with everything and everyone around us. What makes our journey special is that it's not just about learning, it's about experiencing and feeling. Each topic we explore is unique, filled with fresh stories, insights from Buddha and relatable examples from everyday life. We've ensured that everything is presented in an easy to understand manner, so whether you seek comfort, answers to life's big questions, or simply curiosity, this exploration is for you. As we delve into each topic, I encourage you to reflect on your own life, ask questions, and perhaps see your world in a new light. Your support enables us to continue creating impactful videos, so why not stay with us until the end of this video? Every part of our journey adds a new layer, gradually revealing a beautiful image of life. It's like assembling a puzzle where the complete picture only emerges when all the pieces are in place. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the enchantment in the idea that in life, nothing is merely a coincidence. Every moment is a step in a meticulously choreographed dance uniquely crafted just for you. 1. The Illusion of Randomness Have you ever pondered the apparent randomness of life? It's like flipping a coin, uncertain whether it will land heads or tails. But what if these seemingly random events weren't just chance occurrences? Buddhism urges us to look deeper and uncover patterns and reasons behind what appears random. Consider significant historical events like wars, groundbreaking discoveries, or major societal shifts. While they may seem to happen out of nowhere, a closer examination often reveals interconnected events leading up to them. Similarly, in our personal lives, we encounter chance meetings that blossom into deep friendships or stumble upon life-changing books. These may seem like strokes of luck, but retracing our steps often unveils a sequence of events that brought us there. Think of it as a puzzle where each piece fits snugly into place. Buddha spoke of this phenomenon, suggesting that what we perceive as random is merely a result of our incomplete understanding. As we begin to notice these connections, life starts making more sense. Instead of things happening to us arbitrarily, we see ourselves as integral parts of a grander narrative. This realization brings inner peace, even amid life's chaos, knowing that there is an underlying order. While we can't predict every twist and turn, we can discern patterns and learn from them. It's akin to being a detective, piecing together clues to fathom life's true essence. Our choices play a significant role in this process. Each decision is like tossing a pebble into a pond, creating ripples that may not always be immediately evident. This awareness reminds us to be mindful of our choices as they carry weight and consequences. It also encourages us to stay receptive to life's surprises, as the most unexpected moments often lead to the most beautiful discoveries. Mindfulness enables us to perceive these connections, uncovering the causes behind events and illuminating the path ahead. This insight also fosters empathy as we comprehend the motivations behind others' actions, making us more patient and understanding. So as we navigate through life, let's remember that seemingly random occurrences may hold hidden links and patterns. 
Let's search for the connections and reasons behind events, making life more intriguing and imbued with meaning. It's akin to piecing together a vast puzzle where each piece contributes to a clearer understanding of the whole picture. 2. The Fabric of Karma Karma is a concept that can be compared to tending a garden. Just like in a garden, the seeds we sow in life grow and eventually yield a harvest. Imagine planting apple seeds in your garden. You can expect to pick apples, not oranges. This simple idea lies at the heart of karma. You reap what you sow. Let's dive deeper into this idea by exploring the story of Angulimala, a character from Buddhist lore. Angulimala was once a menacing and feared individual known for wearing a garland made of human fingers. However, his life took a remarkable turn. He underwent a transformation from darkness to kindness, becoming a genuinely compassionate soul. Now this transformation didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process, much like tending to a garden. Angulimala's actions were like the seeds he planted, slowly changing him over time. This story conveys a crucial lesson. No matter what our past actions may have been, we always have the opportunity to begin sowing positive seeds for a brighter future. Just as we can choose the seeds we plant in a garden, we can also choose the actions we take in our lives. If we consistently sow seeds of kindness, compassion and love, we are likely to reap a harvest of goodwill and positive experiences in return. Conversely, if we sow seeds of negativity, anger and cruelty, we may find ourselves facing challenges and difficulties. Understanding karma encourages us to be mindful of our actions and choices. It reminds us that the consequences of our deeds are not arbitrary. They are a direct result of what we put out into the world. By being aware of this interconnectedness, we can strive to create a more positive and harmonious life for ourselves and those around us. So remember, just like a garden, our lives are influenced by the seeds we plant through our thoughts, words and actions. By embracing the wisdom of karma, we can take charge of our destinies and cultivate a brighter and more fulfilling future. 3. The Web of Interconnectedness Consider this. Have you ever gazed up at the night sky and marveled at the countless stars that adorn the universe? It's a breathtaking sight, isn't it? But have you ever wondered if there might be some grand design, some unseen threads that connect those stars in a cosmic tapestry? In our exploration of Buddhist wisdom, we come across the profound concept of interconnectedness. It's a bit like imagining each star in the night sky as a unique event or person in our lives. At first glance, they might seem distant and unrelated, but if we look deeper, we discover an intricate web of connections that binds them together. Think about a spider's web delicately woven with each strand connected to the other. In the same way, our lives are intricately linked with each moment, each action, and each encounter creating a ripple effect that touches not only us, but everyone and everything around us. Buddha taught us that we are not isolated beings living in solitary bubbles. Rather, we are part of this vast and interconnected web of existence. Every smile we share, every act of kindness, and even every negative thought sends vibrations throughout this web. These vibrations affect not only us, but also those we come into contact with, and even those we may never meet. Let's take a moment to reflect on this interconnectedness in our own lives. Think about a time when a stranger's small act of kindness brightened your day, or when your own actions had an unexpected and positive impact on someone else. These moments serve as reminders that we are all connected in ways we may not always perceive. Consider the environment, for instance. Our daily choices such as reducing waste, conserving resources or practicing sustainable living contribute to the health of our planet. 
the well-being of future generations is intricately linked to the actions we take today. This understanding of interconnectedness encourages us to be more mindful of our thoughts, words and deeds. When we realize that our actions have far-reaching consequences, we become more accountable for the energy we put into the world. By fostering kindness, compassion and empathy, we can weave a more harmonious and compassionate tapestry of existence. As we navigate our journey through life, let's remember that we are all connected in this intricate web of existence. Our actions, no matter how small, ripple through this cosmic tapestry, shaping not only our own destiny, but the destiny of the entire universe. Embracing this profound idea can lead us to a deeper sense of purpose and a more profound connection with the world around us. 4. Nature's Rhythms and Lessons Have you ever ventured into the heart of nature? Perhaps hiking through a dense forest or sitting by the serene shores of a tranquil lake? In those moments, have you ever felt a profound connection with the natural world, as if you were a part of something much larger than yourself? As we continue our journey into the wisdom of Buddhism, we encounter teachings that draw our attention to the rhythms and lessons found in the natural world. Nature, in all its splendor, serves as an extraordinary teacher, offering us valuable insights into the tapestry of life. Consider the seasons, for instance. Each season carries its own unique essence and purpose. Spring heralds the rebirth of life with flowers blooming and trees budding, reminding us of the potential for renewal and growth. Summer's warmth and abundance remind us of the rewards of hard work and dedication. Autumn's falling leaves and harvest remind us of the impermanence of all things. Finally, winter, with its hushed stillness, teaches us the value of rest and introspection. In these natural rhythms, we find parallels to the various seasons of our own lives, times of joy and celebration, times of hard work and growth, times of letting go and embracing change, and times of quiet reflection. Nature reminds us that each phase is essential, and together they form the beautiful tapestry of our existence. Let's take a closer look at the trees in a forest. In a thriving woodland, Trees of different species coexist harmoniously, each contributing to the overall health of the ecosystem. In their unity, they create a balanced and vibrant environment. This teaches us the importance of diversity and cooperation in our own communities and in the world at large. The flowing river offers another invaluable lesson. As it meanders through valleys and over rocks, it never fights against the natural course of its journey. Instead, it adapts and finds a way forward. Similarly, in our lives, we encounter obstacles and challenges. Nature teaches us to flow with the currents of life, to adapt and seek alternative paths when necessary, rather than resisting and causing unnecessary suffering. Animals in the wild also impart wisdom. Observe the cooperation within a pack of wolves or the nurturing care of a mother bird tending to her chicks. These behaviors demonstrate the strength of community and the profound love that exists in the animal kingdom. They remind us of our own capacity for compassion, empathy and support toward one another. Nature's teachings are not confined to its beauty alone. They extend to the intricate web of life where every creature, plant and element plays a vital role in maintaining balance and harmony. This interconnectedness echoes the Buddhist concept of interdependence, emphasizing that every being, no matter how small, contributes to the greater whole. As we immerse ourselves in the natural world, we gain a deeper appreciation for the wisdom it imparts. We learn to embrace the ebb and flow of life, to value diversity and cooperation, to adapt and find new paths, and to foster compassion and unity within our communities. Nature's rhythms and lessons are a source of profound insight, guiding us towards a more meaningful and harmonious existence. 
transforming suffering into wisdom. In the course of our lives, we all encounter suffering in various forms. It's an undeniable part of the human experience, but have you ever considered the possibility that suffering can be a profound source of wisdom and growth? As we continue our exploration of Buddhist wisdom, we delve into the concept of transforming suffering into wisdom. Imagine a lotus flower emerging from the muddy waters of a pond. Despite its surroundings, the lotus blooms with pristine beauty. In a similar vein, Buddhism teaches us that suffering can serve as the fertile ground from which wisdom and enlightenment can sprout. Suffering takes many forms, whether it's physical pain, emotional turmoil, or the challenges of daily life. These experiences can often leave us feeling overwhelmed and helpless. However, Buddhism offers a different perspective. It suggests that suffering, while undoubtedly painful, can also be a catalyst for profound change. Consider the story of Siddhartha Gautama, who would later become known as the Buddha. Siddhartha was born into a life of luxury, shielded from the harsh realities of the world. It was only when he ventured beyond the palace walls and witnessed suffering in the form of sickness, old age and death that he began to question the nature of existence. This deep encounter with suffering ultimately led him on a path to enlightenment and to the development of Buddhism. In our own lives, suffering can similarly act as a wake-up call. It can prompt us to examine our priorities, question our beliefs, and seek deeper meaning. Suffering forces us to confront our limitations and vulnerabilities, igniting a quest for understanding and growth. One of Buddhism's fundamental teachings is the Four Noble Truths. The first truth acknowledges the existence of suffering in the world. The second truth points to the origin of suffering, often rooted in attachment and craving. The third truth reveals that there is a way to end suffering. And the fourth truth outlines the Eightfold Path, a guide to achieving enlightenment and liberating oneself from suffering. The Eightfold Path consists of eight interconnected principles, including right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. These principles offer a practical framework for transforming suffering into wisdom and ultimately achieving liberation. Let's consider how we can apply these teachings in our lives. When we encounter suffering, the first step is to acknowledge it without denial or resistance. This is where right understanding comes into play, understanding the nature of suffering itself. Next, we can examine our intentions and motivations in response to suffering. Guided by right intention, right speech and right action, we can respond to suffering with compassion and kindness, not only towards others, but also towards ourselves. Right livelihood encourages us to choose work that aligns with our values and promotes well-being. Right effort reminds us to persist in our quest for understanding and growth, even when faced with adversity. Right mindfulness and right concentration teach us to cultivate a focused and aware mind, allowing us to examine our suffering more deeply. Through mindfulness, we can gain insight into the root causes of our suffering and begin to let go of attachment and craving. As we navigate the labyrinth of suffering in our lives, we can take solace in the wisdom of Buddhism. Suffering, while painful, can be the catalyst for transformation and enlightenment. By applying the teachings of the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, we can harness the power of suffering to gain deeper understanding, compassion and ultimately liberation. The Clarity of Mindfulness In the hustle and bustle of our daily lives, it's easy to get caught up in a whirlwind of thoughts, emotions and distractions. But what if there was a way to cultivate a profound sense of clarity amidst the chaos? As we delve deeper into the wisdom of Buddhism, we encounter the practice of mindfulness, a transformative tool that can bring clarity to our minds. 
Imagine a pristine mountain lake, its surface undisturbed by ripples or turbulence. This tranquil stillness allows the lake to perfectly reflect the surrounding landscape. Similarly, mindfulness is like the stillness of that lake, providing us with a clear and undistorted reflection of our inner and outer world. At its core, mindfulness is the practice of being fully present in the moment, observing our thoughts, feelings and sensations without judgment. It's about anchoring ourselves in the now and letting go of the incessant chatter of the past and the worries of the future. Mindfulness is not a New Age fad, but an ancient practice rooted in Buddhist tradition. It teaches us to pay attention to our experiences with openness, curiosity and acceptance. By doing so, we can develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Consider the story of a novice monk who sought wisdom from his master. He asked, Master, how can I attain enlightenment? The master replied, Have you eaten your rice porridge? Perplexed, the novice answered, Yes, I have. The master then said, Wash your bowl. In this seemingly simple exchange, the master conveyed the essence of mindfulness. It's about being fully present in even the most ordinary activities, recognizing that every moment can be an opportunity for clarity and insight. One of the fundamental practices of mindfulness is meditation. Through meditation, we can train our minds to become more focused, calm and aware. This practice involves sitting in a quiet place, focusing on our breath and observing the thoughts and sensations that arise without getting entangled in them. Mindfulness meditation is not about emptying the mind, but about becoming aware of its contents. It's akin to sitting by the side of a road and watching cars pass by. Each car represents a thought, and instead of chasing after them, we simply observe them as they come and go. As we cultivate mindfulness, we begin to notice the patterns of our mind, the habitual thought loops, the reactions to stress, and the automatic judgments. This self-awareness is the first step toward transformation. By recognizing these patterns, we can choose to respond to life's challenges with greater clarity and equanimity. Mindfulness also has a profound impact on our physical and emotional well-being. It has been shown to reduce stress, improve concentration, enhance emotional regulation, and increase overall life satisfaction. By staying present in the moment, we can savor the simple joys of life, a warm cup of tea, a gentle breeze, or the laughter of a loved one. In the midst of life's chaos, mindfulness offers us a sanctuary of clarity and calm. It reminds us that we don't have to be swept away by the currents of our thoughts and emotions. Instead, we can choose to anchor ourselves in the present moment, where clarity and insight await. In our journey through the practice of mindfulness, we learn to embrace the simplicity of being fully present. We discover that amidst the noise and distractions, there is a profound stillness within us. This stillness is the clarity of mindfulness, a beacon of light that can guide us through the complexities of life with wisdom and grace. Navigating fate and free will. In the tapestry of life, we often find ourselves at the crossroads of fate and free will, pondering the age-old question, are our destinies predetermined or do we possess the power to shape our lives? As we continue our exploration of Buddhist wisdom, we delve into the delicate balance between these two forces, offering guidance on navigating this intricate web. Imagine a river flowing gracefully through a lush landscape. It follows its course, meandering through valleys and cascading over rocks, all the while being guided by the natural contours of the terrain. In this metaphor, the river represents fate, an overarching force that shapes the direction of our lives. Now consider a small boat floating on that river. The boat carries us, the passengers, 
and offers us choices about how to navigate the journey. Here, the boat symbolizes our free will, the capacity to make choices, take actions, and chart our course through life's waters. Buddhism teaches that fate and free will are not opposing forces, but rather intertwined aspects of our existence. While we may not have control over the external circumstances and events that shape our lives, the river's course, we do possess the power to decide how we respond to these events and the choices we make along the way, the boat's direction. This concept is beautifully encapsulated in the story of the two arrows. Imagine you are struck by an arrow representing an unavoidable aspect of fate, such as illness or loss. The first arrow inflicts pain. It's the external event beyond our control. The second arrow, however, is our reaction to the first arrow, the emotional suffering we experience due to our response. Buddhism encourages us to acknowledge and accept the first arrow as a part of life, recognizing that suffering is an inherent aspect of the human experience, but it also emphasizes our ability to mitigate the impact of the second arrow by choosing how we respond to the first. This is where our free will comes into play. So how can we navigate this intricate balance between fate and free will? One fundamental principle is cultivating mindfulness. By being present in the moment and observing our thoughts and emotions, we gain clarity about our reactions and can choose more skillful responses. Mindfulness allows us to create a gap between external events, the first arrow, and our emotional reactions, the second arrow, giving us the freedom to respond with wisdom and equanimity. Another essential aspect is self-awareness. We can explore our values, priorities, and aspirations. By aligning our actions with our deeper intentions, we gain a sense of purpose and direction. This empowers us to make choices that resonate with our authentic selves, even within the confines of fate's river. Buddhism also encourages the practice of loving-kindness and compassion. When faced with adversity, we can choose to respond with empathy, not only towards ourselves, but also towards others. This not only eases our own suffering, but also contributes to a more compassionate and interconnected world. In the grand scheme of life, we are both passengers and captains of our boats, navigating the river of fate with our free will. While we cannot control the river's currents or predict every twist and turn, we can choose how we steer our boats, the attitudes we adopt and the actions we take. As we continue our journey through the tapestry of existence, let us embrace the delicate balance between fate and free will. By practicing mindfulness, self-awareness and compassion, we can navigate the river of life with grace, wisdom and a sense of purpose, making the most of our voyage, embracing life's impermanence. Life is a constantly changing landscape where everything we hold dear is subject to the inexorable passage of time. In our journey through the wisdom of Buddhism, we encounter the profound teaching of impermanence, a concept that encourages us to embrace the transient nature of existence with grace and wisdom. Imagine a field of wildflowers, each blossom at a different stage of its life cycle. Some are in full bloom, displaying vibrant colors and lush petals, while others have begun to wither, their beauty fading. This imagery encapsulates the essence of impermanence, the reality that everything in life is in a state of constant change, from the blooming to the withering. Buddhism teaches us that grasping onto things as if they were permanent sources of happiness can lead to suffering. This attachment to the idea of permanence can be seen in our relentless pursuit of material possessions, the desire for unending youth, or the fear of letting go of familiar situations. However, these attachments ultimately lead to disappointment and discontentment because they clash with the fundamental truth of impermanence. Consider the changing seasons as a metaphor for the impermanence of life. Spring brings new life and growth. Summer offers warmth and abundance. Autumn presents the beauty of letting go. 
and winter represents a period of rest and introspection. Each season has its unique beauty, and none lasts forever. Life's impermanence is mirrored in the cycle of nature. In our own lives we encounter impermanence in various forms, the aging of our bodies, the passing of loved ones, the shifting tides of relationships, and the evolving circumstances of our careers. These changes can be challenging and even heartbreaking, but they are an integral part of the human experience. So, how do we embrace life's impermanence with grace and wisdom? One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is mindfulness, which encourages us to be fully present in each moment. By paying attention to the present and appreciating the beauty it holds, we can free ourselves from the anxieties of the past and the uncertainties of the future. Compassion is another key aspect. When we recognize that all beings share in the experience of impermanence and the challenges it brings, we can cultivate empathy and understanding. This leads to deeper connections with others and a sense of shared humanity. Furthermore, Buddhism encourages us to let go of attachments and cravings that cause suffering. By understanding that our attachments are rooted in the illusion of permanence, we can release the grip on what is fleeting and find contentment in the present moment. The practice of impermanence doesn't negate the importance of planning or setting goals. Instead, it invites us to do so with a sense of detachment, knowing that outcomes are uncertain. This perspective allows us to approach life's challenges with resilience and adaptability. As we journey through the ever-changing landscape of life, let us remember the wisdom of impermanence. By embracing the transient nature of existence, practicing mindfulness, fostering compassion, and letting go of attachments, we can find peace and contentment in the midst of life's uncertainties. Impermanence reminds us that every moment is a gift, and it is up to us to savor it with gratitude and an open heart. The Heart of Compassion In the intricate tapestry of human existence, one thread stands out as particularly luminous, the thread of compassion. As we delve deeper into the wisdom of Buddhism, we uncover the profound significance of cultivating a compassionate heart, a practice that not only enriches our lives, but also fosters a more harmonious world. Picture a serene forest where sunlight filters through the leaves, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. Among the trees, you come across a wounded bird, its delicate wing injured and unable to fly. Your immediate response is to extend a helping hand, to offer care and comfort to this vulnerable creature. This innate desire to alleviate suffering, to connect with the pain of another, is the essence of compassion. Buddhism places compassion at the very core of its teachings, emphasizing the importance of kindness, empathy, and genuine concern for the well-being of all sentient beings. Compassion is not merely a lofty ideal, but a tangible and transformative force that can bring healing and harmony to the world. Compassion begins with a recognition of suffering, both in ourselves and in others. It is the willingness to acknowledge pain, whether physical or emotional, without turning away or denying its existence. By facing suffering head-on, we open the door to empathy and understanding. Consider the story of the Buddha himself, who before his enlightenment encountered the sufferings of old age, sickness and death. These profound encounters ignited his quest for understanding and ultimately led to the development of Buddhism. The Buddha's compassion for the human condition drove him to seek a path to alleviate suffering, not just for himself, but for all beings. In our own lives, compassion invites us to respond to suffering with a heart that is open and caring. It encourages us to extend a helping hand to those in need, to listen with empathy to the stories and struggles of others, and to offer solace and support without judgment. One of the most powerful aspects of compassion is its capacity to transcend boundaries and divisions. 
Compassion does not discriminate based on race, religion, nationality, or any other factors that often separate us. It recognizes the universal nature of suffering and reaches out to all beings, fostering a sense of interconnectedness and shared humanity. Buddhism offers a practice called loving-kindness meditation, which is a systematic way to cultivate compassion. In this meditation, we start by directing loving-kindness and well-wishes towards ourselves, then gradually extend these feelings to loved ones, acquaintances, and even those with whom we may have conflicts. This practice helps us develop a genuine sense of compassion that encompasses all beings. Compassion is not a sign of weakness. It is a source of strength. When we cultivate compassion, we become more resilient in the face of adversity and more capable of transforming conflicts into opportunities for understanding and growth. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us remember the heart of compassion by acknowledging and alleviating suffering, fostering empathy and understanding, and practicing loving-kindness, we can weave a thread of compassion into the fabric of our existence. This thread connects us to the collective human experience and empowers us to create a world where kindness, empathy, and love prevail. The Quest for Self-Discovery have you ever embarked on a journey to explore the depths of your own being, to unravel the mysteries of your mind and heart? In our continued exploration of Buddhist wisdom, we delve into the profound journey of self-discovery, a quest that leads to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. Imagine a labyrinth, intricate and winding, with countless twists and turns, at its center lies a hidden treasure, a symbol of self-knowledge and inner wisdom. This labyrinth represents the path to self-discovery, a journey that takes us through the intricate landscape of our thoughts, emotions and experiences. Buddhism recognizes that our true nature is often obscured by layers of conditioning, attachments and distractions that accumulate over time. To discover our authentic selves, we must embark on a quest inward, peeling away these layers, like the petals of a flower, to reveal the core essence within. One of the fundamental practices of self-discovery in Buddhism is meditation. Meditation is not about escaping from the world, but about turning our attention inward, observing the thoughts and emotions that arise, and cultivating a deeper awareness of our inner landscape. Consider the analogy of a clear, still pond. When the surface of the water is agitated, it becomes difficult to see the reflection of the sky and surrounding trees. In meditation, as we calm the ripples of our mind, we gain clarity and insight into our true selves. We learn to distinguish between the transient thoughts and emotions that pass through our consciousness and the deeper, unchanging essence beneath. Self-discovery also involves examining our beliefs, values and motivations. It requires asking profound questions about who we are, what we truly value, and what gives our lives meaning and purpose. This introspection can be uncomfortable at times, as it challenges our preconceived notions and invites us to confront our fears and insecurities. The concept of impermanence, which we explored earlier, plays a significant role in self-discovery by recognizing that everything in life, including our own existence, is subject to change and eventual dissolution. We gain a perspective that invites us to live authentically and with a sense of urgency. It reminds us not to take our precious moments for granted. The journey of self-discovery is not a solitary endeavor. It involves connecting with others who can support and inspire us along the way. In Buddhism, spiritual community or Sangha plays a vital role. It provides a space for sharing experiences, insights and wisdom, and it offers a sense of belonging and mutual support. Self-discovery is an ongoing and evolving process, one that deepens with time and practice. It is not a destination, but a continual exploration of the self and its connection to the world. 
As we delve deeper into our own being, we begin to see the interconnectedness of all life and our role in the grand tapestry of existence. In our quest for self-discovery, let us remember that the journey itself is a source of profound wisdom and growth. By practicing meditation, introspection, and embracing impermanence, we can unveil the treasure of self-knowledge within us. This knowledge empowers us to live authentically, to cultivate deeper connections with others, and to navigate the complexities of life with grace and wisdom. The Harmony of Coexistence Have you ever marveled at the intricate balance of the natural world, where diverse species coexist harmoniously, each playing a vital role in the ecosystem? As we delve deeper into the wisdom of Buddhism, we uncover the profound concept of coexistence, a principle that teaches us not only to live in harmony with the natural world, but also with one another. Imagine a lush rainforest teeming with an astonishing variety of flora and fauna. In this vibrant ecosystem, every plant, animal and microorganism contributes to the delicate balance of life. The harmony of coexistence is evident as each species fulfills its role, from pollinators spreading the seeds of plants to predators regulating the populations of prey. Buddhism recognizes the interconnectedness of all life, emphasizing that every being, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, has a part to play in the grand symphony of existence. This concept aligns with the fundamental Buddhist principle of interdependence, which underscores the idea that no one and nothing exists in isolation. The harmony of coexistence extends beyond the natural world and encompasses our relationships with one another. In our complex and interconnected global society, it is more crucial than ever to foster understanding, tolerance and compassion among individuals of diverse backgrounds and beliefs. Consider the story of a small village nestled in the mountains. The villagers come from various cultural and religious backgrounds, each with their own customs and traditions. Despite these differences, they have learned to coexist peacefully celebrating their diversity as a source of strength and richness. In our own lives, the practice of coexistence involves recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of every individual, regardless of their race, religion, nationality or social status. It requires us to transcend our biases and prejudices and to approach others with an open heart and a willingness to understand their perspectives. Coexistence also involves active listening and effective communication. By listening attentively to the experiences and concerns of others, we can foster empathy and build bridges of understanding. Effective communication helps us navigate conflicts and disagreements with respect and civility, rather than resorting to hostility or aggression. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism is the practice of loving-kindness and compassion, which extends not only to our loved ones, but also to strangers and even those we may perceive as adversaries. This practice invites us to cultivate a genuine sense of care and goodwill toward all beings, fostering an atmosphere of harmony and mutual respect. In the pursuit of coexistence, the principle of non-harm or ahimsa is of paramount importance. Ahimsa guides us to refrain from causing harm to others, whether through our words, actions or intentions. It encourages us to seek peaceful resolutions to conflicts and to promote justice and equality. In the grand tapestry of life, the harmony of coexistence is a thread that binds us all together. It reminds us that we are not separate entities, but interconnected beings sharing this planet. By embracing this principle, we can foster a world where diversity is celebrated, understanding is nurtured, and conflicts are resolved through peaceful means. As we journey through life, let us remember the wisdom of coexistence. By recognizing the interconnectedness of all life, Practicing loving-kindness and compassion and striving for harmony in our relationships, 
we can contribute to a more harmonious and peaceful world where every being thrives in unity and respect. In our journey through the wisdom of Buddhism, we have ventured into the profound realms of self-discovery, impermanence, compassion, coexistence, and many more facets of life's intricate tapestry. These timeless teachings invite us to explore the depths of our own being, to embrace the transient nature of existence, to cultivate a compassionate heart, and to harmoniously coexist with the world around us. Like the threads of a magnificent tapestry, each concept we've explored weaves its unique pattern into the fabric of our lives. Through mindfulness, self-awareness and empathy, we uncover the treasures of self-discovery. By acknowledging the impermanence of all things, we find gratitude for each precious moment. The practice of compassion enriches our lives and fosters unity with others, while the harmony of coexistence reminds us of our interconnectedness with all beings. As we navigate the complexities of existence, may we carry these teachings with us, allowing them to guide us toward a life of wisdom, purpose and harmony. Just as a single thread contributes to the beauty of a tapestry, each concept we explored enriches our understanding of life's profound mysteries. It is a journey of continual learning and growth, one that empowers us to live authentically and contribute to a world where compassion and coexistence reign supreme.